Am I able to say the story tomorrow? Uh, Gavin Stone's going to start tomorrow. So uh, this is um, something that we've all been anticipating. And um, me, I think I can speak for everyone in the clubhouse. We're excited for Gavin, and uh, it's going to be a fun day for, for Dodger Nation. First person I called was my parents, um, and that was a special phone call. That was something, you know, um, as a little kid, that's always something that me and my dad and my mom uh, have dreamed of. Uh, my mom was my first baseball coach, so it was very special to share that moment with them. A lot of people are coming. Uh, it's a long ways from Arkansas, but we, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of family coming, a lot of friends, so it should be a, a very great day. joy. I think that's all that, you know, that I'll be feeling whenever I walk through those doors is just joy. You know, there's been a lot of great players walk through those hallways. To be a part of them, you know, it's going to be a great feeling. Once it's my day to pitch there and, and I go out on the field, I think it'll finally set in. Um, but, you know, just I think the happiness is definitely set in just from, you know, calling people and telling them and, and you know, seeing their excitement. Um, so, yeah, the happiness is definitely set in, but I don't think the realization of, you know, what's, what's to come has set in yet. There's Stone's first double-A strikeout. He starts off the game well. Here's the 2 and that is strike three called. He threw a dart at 98. Here he comes in the pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. It is his 13th strikeout. And Gavin Stone with a new career high. Gavin Stone is 24 years old from Lake City, Arkansas, a small town of 2,400 people that produced the kid with the big arm. Drafted out of the University of Central Arkansas in the fifth round of the 2020 draft by the Dodgers, Stones scurried up the minor league ladder. But what most impressed the Dodgers occurred this past spring. Gavin, I think, showed us in spring training his ability to, you know, handle the situations, you know, be able to compete with big league hitters uh, and not be phased by, by the moment. They got him. Ball just disappeared. <laughs> Strikes out the side. It's a quick delivery, gets on you fast. Uh, he's, his fastball changeup, and everybody knows about how great the changeup is. Uh, normally, he's you know commanding his fastball both sides of the plate. He's able to elevate, uh, but you know when the changeup's on, it's a lethal weapon. It's a standalone pitch uh, that he can throw to any situation at any count, uh, and that's what makes him unique. Made it. Waiting for you to get here. Missing you. <laughs> Hi, buddy. How you doing? Yeah, Congratulations. You. How goes it? It's been fun. This is a nice little piece it's right fun. there. Appreciate you're it. looking good, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. So, uh, is uh, everyone gonna be here tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a long ways away from home, but yeah. yeah. Most most of my family's coming, and then some friends and fam or friends and then okay. Coaches. So well, there's awesome. a lot of people excited for you, man. Yeah. We're yeah. excited. Um, did you get in okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. it was good. I got in yesterday around three or four. Okay. So, so today, just kind of go through your regular regular stuff, your normal routine, get out there with the guys, get uh, reacclimated. But it's going to be fun, dude. Enjoy every yeah. bit of it. Yeah, I'm we're so excited. Keep doing, keep being you, man. I'm excited. Do what you do. I'm excited. It's plenty good enough. Yeah. All right, man. There's a pregame buzz at Dodger Stadium right now. The Dodgers' fourth-ranked prospect, Gavin Stone, about to make his major league debut. Dave, in spring training, you told us that Stone would make his major league debut at some point. Why in spring did you know that he was ready? I just felt that he was going to outperform 
and uh, knock the door down and uh, force our hand. And uh, it's kind of a, like I like to do is, you know, we bet on people and, and uh, I just, it was sort of an easy bet for us. The day has arrived, May 3rd, 2023. Gavin Stone makes his major league debut. And he does so with his family here from Arkansas. His dad, Kerry, his mom, Jennifer. Imagine having a lifelong dream and then imagine waking up today, knowing that today's the day that dream comes true. Backstage Dodgers is brought to you by Cadillac. Today's the day that dream comes true for not just Gavin, but his entire family. Unreal, to be honest with you. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's something that he's dreamed about and we look forward to. Uh, we're really, really excited for him. Here he is, DJ on the Centerfield Plaza. How are you people here today? Just excited for him. He's worked hard, gave up a lot, sacrificed a lot. He's just worked hard. Good. How are you doing, girl? Good. Are you all excited? So proud of you. Yes. I can't even express like all the emotions that I think we're all feeling right now. I, obviously, we're a little nervous, you know. I mean, but I know he's living out his dream right now. So yeah, I'm so excited for him. I just think it's gonna be, you know, literally the best moment of my life. You know, walking out there on the mound and and looking up and seeing the stadium at the at the sky. I think that's something that. Uh, you know, sometimes it gets lost when, when rookies come up is their ability to, you know, obviously there's a ton of emotions that go through, you know, making your debut. There's a lot of energy, uh, but being able to control that and be able to concentrate on just being present and make pitches, uh, that's what, you know, Gavin has, has shown that ability through spring training, obviously his year last year. Oh gosh, now I'm nervous. Let's go. Whew. Very quickly has gone from fairly anonymous to one of the top pitching prospects in baseball, and officially today, a big leaguer. Schwarber lifts the ball to right center field. It is Betts and Outman, and what does that feel like for Stone? And the Phillies have him first and second against Stone. Cassianos with one away, chops this one to third off Muncy's glove. And it's all scheming against Stone right now. Gavin Stone could have felt the pressure early. Tough luck, a run across, and the base is loaded. But seemingly unfazed, Stone settles in. All things considered, could be a real successful first inning if he can limit the damage to one. Base is loaded, two gone. And a bouncing ball to second for Vargas. Routine to finish off. A first inning that was anything but, it's an unearned run against Gavin Stone in his first inning in the bigs. The Phillies go one, two, three in the second. The third inning is a cruel one when the visitors plate four. But the Dodgers send the rookie back out for the fourth inning to test his mettle. You know, there's a lot of layers to, to that decision. Some of it's where we're at with our pitching, how much game we have left. Uh, but I also think like he was throwing the ball well. Fly to left. Peralta up into that bright sunshine to get Trey Turner. Just the way he just managed that, came back out and um, competed. And, and I think for me, he didn't run from it. Uh, shows uh, why we're gonna continue to bet on Gavin Stone. Strike out of Castellanos, and there is the first major league strikeout for Gavin Stone. Being able to pull him out on a positive note is always nice. You know, I mean, sometimes it doesn't happen uh, through the course of a season with all our pitchers, uh, but you always want to feel good about ending it on a high note uh, and give him something to build on. Dave Roberts talking uh, this big league debut through with Gavin Stone. It would appear that he's finished. I just wanted to uh, tell him how much I appreciated uh, his effort, his compete, um, and I wanted to just see where his emotions were at. 
I think it was just he was smiling, uh, beaming inside as far as, you know, no one can take it away. He, he's now a major league pitcher. Stone leaves the game, but his team hangs around in rally fashion to hang it on the fills. Swings at the first pitch, unloads down the line on a grand slam. Only needed one, he'll take them all. They picked up the young starter in Gavin Stone. This is a well-played ball game from both sides, but I thought the better team won today. Be a part of it is just so special. You know, it's something that I dreamed about as a little kid is being a part of a big league win. Um, and to see how it ended, you know, on the walk-off Grand Slam, it's just, it's so surreal. It's a surreal moment for me and my family, and I'm glad they're here to, to experience it with me. Good job, baby boy. That's a good job. I love you. My hope is that Gavin takes it away is just he made his major league league debut at Dodger Stadium and uh, I thought just taking in the experience taking in that whole thing for his family his friends uh, he passed the test literally a dream come true uh, I couldn't have picked a better spot to make my major league debut to have my family and friends and stuff all here to watch and support me was just like a complete circle I'm so thankful for the opportunity and I'm so thankful for the Dodgers and give me this opportunity. Freddie Freeman made the last out, will be the Manfred man, the designated runner at second base. He's the potential lead run. And he will deliver. Muncie takes ball strike three on the outside corner, two out. Now it's up to Michael Bush. This is the butterflies portion of our program. I called my parents first. I always knew that they were going to be the first ones. My dad was, he's been, he's been talking about it for a couple of years now. So he was excited. He was just excited to get on the plane. And then uh, that's uh, something I've been looking forward to for for the last so many years, you know, being able to tell them. The support system I have is just, it's crazy. I'm so blessed, so thankful to have some of these people around. It just makes it all that much more enjoyable. With the 31st selection of the 2019 MLB draft, the Los Angeles Dodgers select Michael Bush, a second baseman from the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. Yes, sir. You know, I've been playing baseball for my whole life, and it seems to be whether it's my first college game, first game in double A, first game in triple A, there's always those like nerves, and yeah, they're, you're feeling them right now, but um, you know, they all, you know, they settle down and they all take care of themselves. Two, two to Bush, breaking ball, this hit high in the air, deep left center, Rex at the wall, it is gone in a game go-ahead home run for Michael Bush. It's a childhood dream. Even growing up, I never thought it was gonna be a, you know, a realistic dream in a way. Maybe like a couple years ago, a few years ago, um, thought it was kind of like more realistic, um, but still a dream. Oh, they're getting you on film. I know. Did you get this for your debut? Yeah. yeah. 2019? Yeah, you have six, though, so. Did you? You don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> it was a different guy. I guess he's only, only up from there, right? But, so what? I guess it's only up from there. Yeah. It's hard to pitch worse. Huh? It's hard to pitch worse than four runs and before getting the first out. Yeah. It's a heavy year like last year, I think. Be OK. Good to see you. Good, good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well. Yeah. Good bye, too. See ya. Oh, is this? Well, that's mine, sorry. 
<laughs> did you put that in my locker? I didn't know it was your locker. How are you feeling? Good. Great. Yeah? Yeah. Is everyone coming? Yeah. Majority of them. A couple of my sisters. How far is this from home? It's not too far, right? It's not too bad of a flight, uh, but it's still you know, your two and a half hour flight. Okay. But I'm That's bad. good. They're all, I think a lot of them are going to be able to make it. Good. Yeah. That's so, so excited. I'm so happy for you, man. You've done it. You've done it the right way, man. A lot of hard work. You're a major leaguer. No one can take it away from you, buddy. Let's do it. No one can ever take it away. Enjoy it, man. Enjoy the moment. All right, dude, it's going to be fun. And there's a lot of guys that are excited for you, man. All right? You're one of us, buddy. Congratulations, Michael. That's what Thank you. All right. He said the time has come, and, and he's getting the call up. And... I think it was probably the coolest moment that I've shared with him just because I've just spent my whole childhood and my whole life like watching him grow and develop and just for him to have this opportunity is just amazing. So we're just ecstatic about it. You know what my response was I wasn't surprised. I mean it was it was a matter of time. I mean a lot of people saw it at a young age. I mean he's worked his tail off. I mean there's no one better off the field, on the field. They got a special kid. This is unreal. It's unreal, but you know, the kid deserves it. He's, he's worked hard, he does what he has to do. You know, the baseball gods, they want to see that. You gotta, you gotta honor this game. I think he does that. It just was like, this was his dream. I guess I could say it was dad's dream too, so. Major League game number one for Michael Bush. Ticket requests 32 for all the family and friends in attendance. You can expect so much, but um, until it happens, you don't really know what's going to happen. Just trying to experience it all. You know, DH and tonight, yeah, obviously you got to focus on you know the pitcher and what you're trying to do and staying warm. 0-2 with two on, one out, inside. He's pounding me with sliders and curveballs, but you know, I, I got in there and I knew that his slider I thought was, you know, was a little ahead of it. It was good to get that slider over the plate with two strikes and you know just put a barrel on it and try to drive in a run. Bush with a rocket in the center field. His first base hit in the big league scores his buddy James Outman. Outstanding. 32 on the pass list, mostly family. And then the friends, his college coach, got the ball, got the hit, got the memory, got the smile. You kind of get lost in the moment in a way. Like, you know, wasn't trying to do too much. And we were down four or five runs and, you know, just trying to um, pass it to the next guy and um, get us some runs and, you know, just try to put a good at bat together. Taylor with a swing and a drive. To deep left field, Chris Taylor puts the Dodgers in front. The largest comeback victory of the season, and it clinches a winning road trip. The Dodgers are officially streaking. That's Michael Bush. I know that guy. What's up? Hey. It was pretty special uh, just to see them and in a big league ballpark and you know they've been the biggest supporters my whole life like I said before not only in baseball but just off the field and on the field so obviously it was super special for me but it's cool to have people around you that um, it means just as much um, so it's pretty cool. Unbelievable a dad's dream come true really it's been a great night great night with the family here watching the work Michael's done that is uh, paid off at this moment right now and hopefully better things to come. Just to see him out there and all the hard work he's put into it and I just know he's a great teammate out there and definitely impacting people, impacting people's lives and I just hope he just keeps it going and has fun out there and uh, we're, we're going to be cheering for him. <laughs> Definitely something I'll remember forever. Just the fact that, you know, they came from all over the place. It was pretty pretty cool that they, you know, took time out of their, 
their life and came out here to support. What are the plans for the ball? I don't know. My uh, my dad asked if he could take it home, so we'll, we'll have to fight over that one. <laughs> spot for Michael Bush thrust right into this rivalry on a Sunday night. You know, those are things we prepare for. You don't come across many of them, but it's it's pretty cool when you do. And, you know, as much as you want to enjoy it, you want to get the job done. You know, I try to just get in there with a hitter's mindset and, and go from there. Three and two to Bush. Now the pitch. Line drive, left field, drops in for a base hit. Michael Bush with the biggest hit of his career. A two-out single to left. Freeman comes in to score, and the Dodgers take a 3-2 to two lead. Having Bushy come through in an enormous spot took tons of pressure off of me, and uh, I feel like he's kind of been like that for me through pro ball. If I feel like I can't get the job done, he will, or maybe vice versa. That ball is hammered to right field, going into the corner. Tatis, he's looking at it. It's a ball. And how about the youngsters for the Dodgers tonight? James out with a two-run shot. Sunday was a special moment. Michael gives us a hit to take the lead in the 10th, and then uh, James with a big two-run homer. That's a cool moment. And so I'm just really happy for Michael because uh, he's worked really hard and he's performed uh, everywhere he's gone. So to now get a good little run here at the big league level uh, has been good for his confidence. Right now Soto on the ground. Freeman backs up. He flips to first. That's where Phillips is. And the Dodgers rally in the ninth to take the series. And they win the game by a final score of 5-2. to two. There's, there's nothing, there's nothing like it. It's pretty sweet, um, you know, to help this team get a win, especially in a, a place like this. You know, they're, it's a tough place to win, and getting two out of three here, I think it's uh, pretty big for the team. On the next Backstage Dodgers. Reliever Shelby Miller works to become a reliable bullpen arm after a series of injuries nearly derailed his career. Am I ever going to get back? Is my baseball career going to be done? Is it time to retire? Those are always thoughts you have when you're struggling. 